This is a lightning talk, meaning that I didn't take any time to prepare. Uh, this is the XO laptop, which some of you may be familiar with, is part of the One Laptop Per Child project. I've been working with that project for getting close to a decade, and uh, primarily in Rwanda. Now the problem is this. This machine was sold to Rwanda on the notion that if you give it to primary school children, they will immediately learn. We all wish such things happened, but in fact, a little planning and preparation is probably necessary. So as a consequence, the schools have these. They do not have internet, no access to the internet. And the idea was that these would be taken by the child home. In Rwanda, that simply does not happen. They're too valuable. If they go home, they're going to get broken or stolen or lost. They stay in the school. From my point of view, you learn from a computer by spending time with it. 10 minutes in a class, 15 minutes in a class, 20 minutes in a class, two times a week, not helpful. But that's basically where we are. So one problem, not having the internet, these things have storage limit four gigabytes. You run out of that in a hurry. So the idea is to have a school server, which they can access through uh, the Wi-Fi that's built in, that has a terabyte hard drive, because large hard drives are pretty cheap these days. And you can put a lot of content. This has about 500 gigabytes of content derived or taken from the internet. Things like Wikipedia, uh, open street maps. There's a complete globe of open street maps that kids can look through. Okay, uh, Gutenberg books, 45,000 e-books, uh, on and on. So a lot of information. So where does RPI come in? Where does Raspberry Pi? I think of that as a basis for helping to teach uh, science, really motivate us, I think a better word than teach, okay? And the idea would be there's no money. <laughs> as you can imagine the way governments work, they spent all this money on the hardware, the laptops. There's no money left even for support or training of teachers, for example. So a few things didn't get done. Anyway, so with the Raspberry Pi, I'm, I'm thinking to be to cheat by putting on Raspbian light, so they have to SSH in and they have to use the command line. I'm not trying, they can do that here, but since they also have the display and all the rest of it, it's hard to get them to use the command line. Now there's another problem, and that is a lot of people think that if you don't have an advanced degree in computer science, you're not allowed to use the command line. <laughs> Luckily, 10, 11, 12 year olds in Rwanda don't have that idea. They haven't been taught yet. So get them in the command line and do Python. So I'm thinking on the Raspberry Pi there should be a sense hat because then they can immediately see the results of their programming because they can display it on the LEDs. And once you get them over this hurdle, then hopefully they will learn a lot. So thank you.